What is up, what is up, what is up YouTube, it is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a retro neon city in a capsule type of idea type of thing and it's a very simple process but um, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start on the city first and the very first thing you should do is make yourself a border, height, line, something that you know that's equal and flat and then you just start plugging away on the buildings and I just used a bunch of squares and I just started laying them down onto the bottom line, circled some of them off, and just made a bunch of cool looking things for the buildings. I did a lot of stuff just to make them be what they are. And it's really simple, really easy. Like I said, I'm using pretty much squares and triangles here just to make these really cool rooftops and stuff, just to give it this really cool uh, like Miami Beach 90s, 80s, retro neon style type of vibe, you know? And um, for the city, it's very simple, like I said, just squares, triangles, and taper them off by using your selection tool. And then after you get them making a few buildings that you like, you can just start to copy and paste the buildings in different sections, overlap them. And it's a very simple process on how to make these buildings. And then we can get into the windows, which will be next, which really adds a lot of effect to these buildings. And it's very simple uh, when you make the windows. When you make the windows, the first thing you want to do is you just want to make one line, then you want to copy to the other side. And then eventually you will also be able to use the blend tool to blend it. Then you specify the steps in the blend tool. And then you can make them really pop out. As you see right here, I'm doing it. And um, as you see, specified steps, I'm able to change it and just make quick windows and then just taper them off and then just make them look really good um, as they flow with the buildings. And I can make them round, I can make them long, I can make them look like a lot of things. And it's just a really cool effect and a really simple way how to make a building shine in Adobe Illustrator. And uh, this is going to be the first step before we start on to the actual neon style of the uh, thing with the neon grid and uh, the cool looking sun the triangle in the background. But let's keep on pushing. We're going to speed it up a little bit. them making your buildings and you're happy with what you want then you can start on adding a bunch of cool effects for me I just had to put my city into a capsule so I just made a square tapered it off and then I just uh, rounded it off and I put a split into it and split it in half and then I reflected it just to make it look like a split capsule in half showing what's inside kind of see-through type of thing and um, this is what I did just to add a little emphasis to mine uh, this is all type of flare but you could do whatever you want if you just want to do a simple grid on the ground and the city on top and then the, the sun on the, the top you know you could do that but with the capsule all you gotta do is just make a regular rectangle and then you just uh, round off the edges by using the suction tool and you'll see the points in this, this, this circle or the square that will allow you to do this and um, pretty much you just split it up and then uh, what I did is I just cut off one side and then I just uh, put a circle or oval as the capsule end and then I just edited a little bit to smooth it out and then I put it on the other side, reflect it, turn it, and then boom, I got my two pieces right there. And then I start on the color process on the capsules. And then, you know, the simple type of thing. If you're watching my previous videos, then you would know how to do the, the color inserts and how to do this real quickly in Adobe Illustrator. And uh, I use gradients because it really works real nicely just to give it that cool neon style and play around with the colors because with the neon style colors, it's usually these bright reds, blues, and purples and greens type of colors. And uh, just have a lot of fun with what you're doing with it. Um, make sure you merge some of the colors together so you can get a nice fluent gradient between all of the, the colors and make sure they're all harmonizing with one another. And uh, it's pretty simple right there throughout there. And uh, just make sure you keep on pushing before you add your city. And um, yeah. And then when it came to the little circle, uh, the sun thing, it's very simple. You just follow these steps. You just pretty much add a bunch of uh, rectangles that you just spread them apart and then eventually you will uh, just merge them all together and then you'll divide them and then you can just start deleting them that's the easiest way I found out how doing it and then boom you got yourself your neon city retro city horizon style Sun make sure you add the gradient to it to make it look really cool and then put the triangle on it just like you see everywhere else with the this type of neon style and then you just have some fun with it make sure your boards clean so you know what you're doing and uh, just have fun I, and uh, 
A little cool thing you can add to it is um, Gaussian blur. What you got to do is duplicate some of the layers, put it in the back, and then just blur it out. And it just gives it its own type of flare, its own type of pop, as you see here. And then you just play around with it, and uh, you just keep it going, keep on plugging. And uh, you'll see some pretty cool things I want to do here. How I messed with the Gaussian blur and the gradient, how I kind of made it fade into each other, and things like that is what really makes certain pieces of art just pop out. And as you see right here, I'm adding a Gaussian blur back behind the sun, and then you just put it where you want to put it at. For instance, I'm going to put mine right here on top of the capsule just to give it that cool looking sun effect. I'm going to add the city, and uh, you don't have to do any of this if you're making your own type of thing. Just have a lot of fun, change things up, and just like I said, have fun with it, mess with it and uh yeah and throughout the this process of the video it's kind of hard to explain um it's mainly just dealing with a lot of gradients and a lot of erasing when you finally get all your objects completely finished uh like i said it's hard for me to explain this uh but uh throughout the end process after you have all your objects complete everything just um to start erasing certain parts just to make things flow over layering other layers but that's pretty much this video uh it's really hard for me to explain anything else on what to do once you get your main objects like the city and the sun complete um uh, that's pretty much it uh i'm probably gonna make a video on how to make these separate because it'll be easier to talk about the individual items and everything combined together but uh, if you guys want me to do that uh, talk about how to make the like the city individually and the neon sun then um, just let me know and I'll definitely let you guys know how I did that by informing you guys in the best way possible but it's your boy Diamonds here at Comment Sense Graphic I'm gonna let the video play with some music in the back like I usually do but rate, comment, subscribe your boy out